I heard about the, the tradition in Olympia and uh, the good basketball here, the history, the list of great players that came here and been successful and thought it would be a good opportunity for me to contribute to the club and uh, hopefully join the list of good players. Slovenia for sure. Greece was, was a little crazy. You know, I loved it there, but after every game there was riots and fights and uh, the energy is just different. I feel here is a little bit more uh, professional and, uh, uh, you know, we played in the ABBA League and the Euro Cup. When I was in Greece, we only played in the, the Greek League, mm -hmm. so uh, basketball is a little bit more competitive here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think college is, uh, I think professional, European professional basketball is a little more uh, tactical. I think maybe the coaches are a little more important. Uh, you have to be a little bit more smarter mm -hmm. about how you play. I think in college you just, you know, the best athletes usually win and, you know, mm -hmm. the best players usually win and, you know, you need a good coach. But, you know, you can be good even without a good coach in college here. The game here is more strategic. Yeah, more strategic and more, uh, uh, just smarter. Mm -hmm. Nothing, really. I think uh, when I first signed, uh, I talked to Dion. He told me a couple things, but you know how guys talk. It wasn't anything, like, real. It was, you know, some nonsense but you know I looked on Wikipedia and, and saw uh, that it was I saw the big dragon the first thing I saw I was like oh the dragons are kind of cool and then uh, I saw the the bridges and that was pretty much all I got from Wikipedia and then I was like well I just don't know much and then I came and I really liked it uh, no I did not no, I did not. It did. It did, and it, it passed it. You know, I didn't know what to expect. And when I came, it was, uh, it was really, when we first came to the gym, you know, I didn't know what to expect. Because when I was in Peñonios with Greece, the, the gym was small, and, you know, it was nothing, nothing crazy. And then we came here and I was like, Jesus Christ, this is where we play. Like, you know, I've, I've never been in an arena this big before. And uh, this is, you know, besides college, this is the first big arena professional career. So I was first taken uh, by surprise by that, how great this was. And then, you know, the people are cool. The, uh, the lifestyle and everything is really, you know, great, is modern, up to date and very clean here. I think this is one of the most cleanest places I've ever been in Europe, so, you know, I, I really like it. Uh, family was, was cool about it. They, they were excited about the opportunity, you know, they were happy to see me travel and uh, be playing again after the injury, so, you know, they were, you know, all for Slovenia, and my mom, she came down and visited, she loved it. My sisters still want to come down and visit, so, you know, everyone was really excited about that. Um, my friends kind of missed me. They were like, oh, no, don't go, don't go. But, you know, I still talk to them every day and, and FaceTime. I think I was in the center and I was using the uh, FaceTime mm -hmm. to show them what it looks like and stuff like that. So, you know, they, they were excited for me, but they're happy for me to come back home, too. <laughs> no, I was just thinking, um, when I first got off the plane, I was with uh, D. And this guy, he was there to pick me up at the airport. And I just remember it was super hot. I was like, God, why is the, why is the weather like this, you know? And, uh, you know, my first thought was just, you know, it's a new adventure. You know, I'm excited to, to see where it goes. You know, these are, you know, I remember I was with D, and we were like, we were talking. We're both the same age. We were like, you know, these are good times in our life to enjoy, you know, where we are. And, you know, let's see what this is uh, going to do for us and, and what kind of situation this is going to be. So we were just excited for the new adventure. English, I pretend to know Spanish, you know, I know a couple words and I 
kind of say them to people who don't know Spanish, so they think I know Spanish. But, you know, I, I'm starting to learn a little Slovene too, though, just from what I learned from the coaches and players. I don't think I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Favorite? I don't think I'm allowed to say that one either. <laughs> uh, I think the food. What's that meat called? Oh, I can't ask you. What am I asking you for? Okay, first, I always get the kebabs. Those are really good. And then I started with the kebabs, and I started getting yufkas, I think they're called. But just with chicken, you know, not the extra stuff, just with chicken. And then I moved on to, uh, it was like this, I don't think it's, it's Slovene though, but it's like this meat like called chalapchichi. Yeah, something like that. I've been eating that a lot. Uh, and then the coffee, the, the, the coffee shops and stuff like that. Because in America, we just have like Starbucks and, and big places like that. And it's, it's not real coffee. It's like milkshakes. So this is the first time I actually like had good coffee. I'm addicted now. When it was snowing, you know, I'm not used to that, that cold weather. Mm -hmm. And, you know, especially when I had to drive in it and I couldn't see out the windows. I didn't even know you had to, like, clean the snow and the ice off your car. So I was driving with the snow piled on and trying to look out the windows and I couldn't see anything. And then one of my teammates just happened to drive by me. He was like, pull over. I pull over and Yokes was like, you know, you can't drive like this. You got to wipe the snow off your car and get the ice off the windows. And I was like, oh, you know, we don't have this in L.A. You know, I didn't know. And he was like, yeah, you know, don't be an idiot. <laughs> we kind of cleaned it off. But. We met him before. We went to that, that thing, and there was all those girls there. I remember because it was all those girls dancing and, and some other girls at the center. And we shook hands with the president. He had a good handshake. I don't remember his name, but I, I just remember those girls. I don't remember the president. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go with that. Two million. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 a million, one million, one million. Two, two. I'm going to stay with two. Never mind. <laughs> Final answer. Uh, Slovenian national dish. All right, we go to restaurants. We usually eat soup. There's that meat. I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know the, the national dish. Uh, no, no, we went to that, I, I do, I do, with that, that one diva lady who's really, really good. She sings that song, oh, I was just listening to it in the locker room. Um, like, pussy me, da 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 <laughs> it's, it's this one song we always listen to in the locker room that I feel like I know it by you know memory now because we listen to it so much but I forgot her name they, they keep trying to teach me I, I know one song though we can, I don't know the name of it but I know one song pussy me da 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 all right, all right. Uh, main differences uh you know, well, Los Angeles is different from America. I think in LA, people are a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, snobby, I guess is a word, you know, like just like, you know, really into themselves and, and you have to be somebody important to, for people to care about you and things like that. I think here people are really, uh, they care about everybody. You know, you don't have to just be, you know, somebody famous for people to, to respect you and like you, so. I kind of really enjoyed that. 
Uh, similarities, I think they, you know, here and back home, everyone dresses nice. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>
So good. Oh, I was on FaceTime with my cousin the other day. He was at in and out I just wanted to smell a burger, you know. That's, it just tastes different, you know. It's different, you know. It's, it's, you know, these burgers out here are kind of homemade. Out there, it's that, you know, big company burgers that I'm kind of used to. You know, I miss the, 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 the big companies and the pollution in the air and all that craziness. You know, you, you love it, man. You, you miss it. Here, LA is crazy expensive, you know. But you know, you can you can you can find a way to be comfortable uh, in both situations. Um, you know, you just gotta figure figure out your limits and, and go from there. Yeah, I take it. I'd be a citizen. Um, you know, certain things in my game I want to improve uh, for myself, you know, offensively and defensively. Uh, I still want to have opportunity to play in the NBA. You know, hopefully I'll get that chance sooner or later. Mm -hmm. um, uh, hopefully play on a big EuroLeague level. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I have high goals, but, you know, I'm also – you know, just taking things step by step too, and just trying to do things the right way, and just uh, for now, just trying to improve on the little things, and then hopefully those get better. You know, my career expands, and I move on to higher and higher levels. Hmm. Oh, I have not. Hmm. I have not. I wanted to see a, a soccer football game, but. It just never worked out, but I wanted to. Okay. I, I like Slovenian women. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> Trying to leave it as short as possible. No, I'm happy. You know, um, they, they, from, you know, my humble, you know. I don't have much experience, but you know, from my short experiences, I've I've think they're they're very kind people, you know, caring, uh, maybe a little very emotional, uh, but beautiful. You know, that's the key word is beautiful. But you know, again, I you know I'm I'm not you know I'm just a very humble man who you know doesn't have much experience with the women. <laughs> uh, just thank you, you know, thank you for, for accepting me and, and uh, welcoming me into the, to the country, to the team, uh, making, letting me have a, a pleasant time and supporting me and, you know, I really enjoyed being here and, you know, that's, that's the main thing I just want to say, just thank you and I really enjoyed it. <laughs>